Navy warship HMS Duncan has put French aircraft carrier FS Charles de Gaulle through her paces as she played the enemy in a series of exercises in the Mediterranean. Type 45 destroyer HMS Duncan was joined by ships from NATO nations to test the French carrier and her strike group's ability to handle a range of threats. HMS Duncan headed to the western Mediterranean for exercise Orion with ships from France, Spain, the United States and Italy who acted as forces fighting against the Charles de Gaulle carrier strike group and a French amphibious task group. The French-led exercise saw 7,000 personnel, warships, submarines, fighter jets and land forces carry out scenarios they could one day face in conflict, below the waves, on the waves and above the waves, as well as land and air. HMS Duncan's participation in the exercise comes as the UK and France have committed to working closer together on carrier operations. During a visit between Prime Minister Rishi Sunak and French President Emmanuel Macron yesterday, 10th of March, it was agreed the two nations will explore opportunities to demonstrate the sequencing of more persistent European carrier strike group presence in the Indo-Pacific. This will see the coordination of regular deployments between France's Charles de Gaulle aircraft carrier and the Royal Navy's carriers HMS Queen Elizabeth and HMS Prince of Wales. During Exercise Orion, it was HMS Duncan's job as a specialist in air defense to disrupt the French task group operations, dealing with a challenging adversary in heavy seas in equal measure. To add to the complexity, a team from the Royal Navy's Fleet Operational Standards and Training FOST, was also embarked to deliver advanced warfare training. It gave Duncan the chance to test her sensors and ability to create a picture of the surrounding area, covering hundreds of miles as she sought out the French task groups while remaining undetected. The scale of this exercise provided a real challenge for the team, requiring us to work effectively with our allies and react quickly to an elusive but highly trained and capable opponent, said Lt. Commander Will Durbin, the ship's senior warfare officer. Preparation for the exercise started a few weeks ago, aided by Duncan's French Principal Warfare Officer Lt. Deveso Mercury, who provided a crucial link with the Task Force Command Team and FS Chevalier Paul, 